Hi everyone, this is just a short little video um, going over some things I'd like you to know before you start the troubleshooting lab for module 7. First of all, I really would recommend you watch this module 7 master TA lecture video. I think this one is going to be very important for you all because it discusses the kinds of problems you could find or you'll need to look out for and how to deal with them. Um, I highly recommend you watch this video before starting the lab. Um, one other thing. Now, I made this page back in Module 4 where there's another troubleshooting assignment. So basically, um, I recommend you go back to this page, review it. So um, basically, I'd like you to do the same thing. So when you have a problem, make sure you list um, what router it's on, like, or list what it is, like, um, you can say overlapping subnets found between router like R1 or R2 or interface S0 slash 0 disabled on router 1. Please make sure you put an actual problem name. Like don't, what you, I don't want you to do is like PC1 could not ping PC2. That's something I do not want you to um, put in this little italicized part here in the problem description. Please don't do that because it doesn't give me inf any information on what problem you've actually found. This is where you want to discuss the problem. If you want to tell, talk about what PCs you were pinging, um, do so in a little tiny paragraph under this italicized um, problem, problem name. Like you actually describe the problem in one sentence, short sentence here. And then in this, you can talk about what you were doing when you noticed a problem and then what router you checked when you were looking for problems. Um, here, just in diagnostic commands, just use, use what switch, just use the router commands, like the show commands you use to diagnose it. Basically, you're looking for it. So just use, put a show command or two there. Finally, the resolution commands are basically the problems you use to, or the code, the commands you use to fix the problem. Um, that's all you need to put there. Um, that's pretty much it, other than one other detail. Um, one other thing you might want to consider when, um, Going to this lab is the command guide. I'm sure you all have been, a lot of you have been using them, noting how helpful they've been. I'm, I'm very thankful for that. Thank you for the feedback. Um, it really, I really appreciate it. But um, these com this command guide will be very helpful. Um, hopefully it'll load in a minute. But basically, this command guide can basically contains old and new commands. But the commands you're going to really need for this lab. So IP route and show IP interface brief are going to be two very important show commands. They will basically be the show commands you'll use to find problems. Now the ping command. Also, one other thing you may want to consider for diagnostic commands is trace. The trace route command and also the type of ping command you use. I would recommend for this lab to not only include the show command, yeah, I forgot about this back there when I was discussing the module 4 page, but also please include the ping command you were using or trace command. I would like to know what you used to diagnose the command from the PC. I would really appreciate that. So some commands you may want to keep in mind are the IP route command. You may need to change the routes or add some routes as you're troubleshooting. You may need to reconfigure an IP address, especially when you redo a subnetting, the subnetting scheme for a LAN. And you may need to re-enable some interfaces. You may, another very important command. When you are changing routes, you need to make sure you type no. The no command is very important. You need to basically undo or delete the old route and then put the new route in. Having both of them will still cause problems. Please make sure you delete, delete the old route with the no command before putting in a new route for the new subnet. Or that matches the new subnet. Well, thank you all for watching this video. If you need any help with this lab, uh, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you, and have a good day.